welcome back I hope you're doing great um, in this very short video we're going to play with validating our HTML code using the of course the W3C validator which is online is free and is available for everybody and it's from W3C so it's coming from the horse's mouth okay so very conveniently I have a folder right here and inside the folder I have a um, HTML file already so we're gonna open it using notepad you can of course use any editors you want and so I'm gonna right click open with and I don't have notepad here so let's choose another app it's not on the short list okay so more apps and let's see if it appears there there it is all right so I'm going to open it and now let me place it here on the screen uh, so we can see it all right so this is uh, a very, um, very, very simple HTML uh, file, of course. I don't have really anything. And uh, it has a couple of errors, right? Kind of warps. But let's go ahead and check. Um, actually, before we even do that, let me, uh, let me open it with Chrome. Okay. And you can see that it's not displaying any of the text. And that is precisely because it has errors. But even if it displays... If it, even if he had displayed the text, uh, it's always always a requirement to check your code, your HTML code, before you can uh, submit anything or you can give it to your client or whatever. Non-validated co code uh, is just not acceptable. So with that in mind, let's uh, follow the process. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy my code here. So. Control C. I actually like to do Control A to select and then Control C. It's more precise than using a mouse, but either way, it's okay. Second thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to uh, go to Google here and we're going to do a search for the W3C validator and it's coming up there already. So you're going to find the W3C markup validation service. That's what we want to do. And then you have three options. You can upload your file. Um, sorry, you can put the URL here or you can upload your file or you can do it by direct input Since I have it on notepad right now. This is the option. I'm going to choose So I'm gonna see control V as in Victor or paste and then I'm just gonna hit the check button All right Now I'm gonna get a couple of things as a result. I get I, I get a warning. So the warning is not lethal, so you can live with a warning. And it's telling me right here wants me to add the language attribute to the HTML tag, which we can do. But warnings are not important. If if your code validates and all it has is warnings, then you're good. Now it does have an error. It says end of file reach when inside an attribute value ignoring tag. Alright, so there's something wrong and it's not giving me much right now. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna go to second error to see what it is uh, that is wrong. And in this one is a little bit more um, precise. It's telling me right here that I have an error on this uh, section, content model for the element head. So it's on the head tag, all right? And, um, but again, it's kind of telling me where it is around where, but sometimes it's not that, um, that precise. And here you even have a highlight of where the error is. So, all right. Let's go look at the code now and uh, let's check it. So this is my document declaration, which is correct. This is my uh, HTML uh, at, uh, tag with the, actually I do have the language attribute, but look at this. I opened the quote and I didn't close it. So let's do that. So I'm going to go ahead, fix it here and I'm gonna copy the code again. So control C. Now, another thing you can do is you can actually go here and fix it right here but then you have to make sure you copy your code once you validate and you paste it back that's the error I see a lot of people do so they validate the code then they forget to copy and paste it back into the document so let's uh, since I already did that let me paste it and let me recheck again so I'm just gonna press check and I still have an error okay so it's telling me end of file scene when expecting text or an end tag so that probably means I forgot to close the tag Okay, and again, uh, notice that I'm, I, I, I have a second error and it's, very, it's more precise, it says on close element title, so it's right there. One thing you do though is do not try to fix all the errors at the, at the same time, kind of 
fix one error and then check again to see uh, where you are sometimes fixing an error is going to fix six or seven or sometimes it might cost 20 or 15 more so don't judge your validation process by that okay so let's go look at the code again here and uh, now it's telling me the problem is with the title and it is true here the the switch for the closing the title tag is not there so let's do it and we're gonna fix it so again control a control c going to go back control a control v is in victor so i'm pasting it and i'm gonna check and finally i got it so now it's giving me the green light it says document checking complete no errors or warnings to show so right now i'm good to go so let's go ahead and test it i'm gonna go back to notepad file save and i'm gonna go to the folder and i'm going to actually I already had it open i'm just going to refresh my page here and now my text is showing now remember even if the text is showing even if your page looks correct it's always a requirement to validate your code and also it's not something that is um it's not something that is should um, make you feel like you don't know what you're doing uh, no validating the code is uh, is kind of a standard anytime you do any kind of coding HTML or even programming having problems with the code is normal is is expected so don't be frustrated if you get an error you are always going to get errors on your code probably it's gonna be very seldom when you create something and it just works Okay, so practice validating your code and remember you should always validate your code code before submitting anything either for a project or an assignment or whatever it is that you're doing. Code needs to be validated because if you don't then your CSS and JavaScript might not work. So practice, practice, practice and I'll catch you in the next uh, video.